All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to take notes. By the time you get to a college class, I, I hope you have some idea of how to take notes already, right? But you would be amazed and surprised at the things that we take for granted. So I just wanna make sure we cover it, we talk about it, because this is gonna be so important in this class. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is what notes are, why we take them, and then we'll talk about how we take them, okay? What are notes? Notes are anything that you write down um, while you're reading something, while your teacher's talking, maybe while you're watching a YouTube video. We write notes so that we can remember it later. Or, you know, maybe something just, it just, you know, struck you like, oh, that finally makes sense. You wanna write it down in that moment so you don't forget it. We write notes to take big chunks of things like a lesson, a video, a story, and go just to the important things. And especially the things that really just and just catch you that, oh, this is what I need to do. Get your ideas down on paper or on a screen so that you can use them later. What I always tell my students is that there's two parts to note taking. The first part is you take the notes. The second part, we have to use them, right? Notes aren't any good unless you go back and you look at them again. You need to not only take notes, you need to use them. And so often, people separate the work, like the reading, the watching, the listening, from the note taking. That doesn't make sense. You have to do it at the same time. So like right now, might be a good time to take notes. Go ahead. I'll wait. Good? Okay. Okay, let's talk about how to take notes. I can't tell you what things are most important in what you read, what you watch, what you listen to. That's something you kind of have to figure out on your own. Your specific system that you use when you are figuring out how to take notes is also kind of just gonna have to come from practice, right? You figuring out what works for you. But let me give you a couple ideas. This one is called the Cornell method of note taking. You need a piece of paper. Yeah, something like that. And then you just need to draw two lines. One, about a third of the way over, all the way down. And two, you draw the other one all across the bottom. So you come up with three things that you can do on any piece of paper. Doesn't have to be pretty, doesn't have to be lined. You just divide it up into three spots. The reason why you do that is with these three spots, what you've done is you've made it a visual way to separate the information that you're writing down so you can use it later. Because remember, note taking two parts. Take the note, use the note. So, part one. Probably can't see it too well. Right here, on the left hand side, you are going to write down the big ideas. This is kind of like the table of contents for your notes. So let's say I'm talking about something, you write it down here, I switch ideas, then you start again here. Make sense? You're writing down the most important things on the left hand side. And what you do on the right is probably what we're used to, which is taking the detailed notes. If right here I'm talking about main ideas, I'm gonna write my notes here, here, here. And let's say I start a new topic right here, right? I pick up and I put it there. So I've got visually, I could see these ideas all go together and these ideas all go together too. Make sense? What's the bottom for? That's for writing a summary. At the bottom of the page, you wanna write a quick summary of the most important things you, uh, about that thing that you took notes on, whether you read a story, you watched a video, you listened to a lesson, you put it down there. So now you've got three things. Over here, you've got your ideas organized, your notes that line up with the ideas, and then you got the big picture, your summary at the bottom. That's great if you're writing it down by hand. What if you're typing it? Follow me. Okay, so let's say you're using your phone or using a computer to take notes on. Great. You don't have to worry about putting things off over on the side and spreading things up. That's fine. If you want to, you could do that. There's ways to do that. If you're just gonna take notes, well, you do the same thing, right? You have your main ideas. By your main ideas, you have your notes. And then, you know, maybe a summary at the bottom. Yeah. Not hard, right? No, you can use a notes app on your phone, you can use it on your computer, you can use OneNote, Evernote, Keep, any of the note apps, they're all fine. The important thing is that you need to practice 
taking notes. Make it a habit. Make it a habit so that when you are being a student, you are actively thinking, recording, writing down the things that you're thinking about so you can remember and use them later, right? Because if you don't, you just kind of like, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, you know? Teachers should be happy, right? No, I mean, it's, remember, this class is for you, it's not for me. You do the work, it helps you, it doesn't help me. Make sense, right? Let's recap things a little bit. What is note taking? Note taking something you write down so that you can remember it later. We, we need to remember the things that go and it's just like, wow, that makes sense to me. Or, you know, it's like, oh, that sounds like that's gonna be important later, I'm gonna write it down. Things that you need to remember or that really stand out, take notes on. How do you do it? Well, like we, we showed on the board and on the computer, on your phone, you, you just write down the big ideas, you make notes about it, and then it's a really good idea to write a summary because what that does is it helps you to kind of like package that, not just on a piece of paper, but in your mind. It's like you've organized your thoughts, you've taken some time to think after the fact, this is what this was about, this is what I was supposed to get out of it, and did I? Right? Because remember, note taking is two steps. One, taking the note. Two, using the note. If you don't go back later and use the notes, then you're not really benefiting from it. But if you do, then you can you look back on it and it's like, wow, you know, this, I could use this in my math class. I could use this in a science class. This doesn't have to be just an English thing, and it doesn't. Make sense? All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have questions, let me know. I'll be glad to answer them. But uh, again, this is how to take notes. Uh, if you still have questions about how to take notes, you can always search other YouTube videos. You can search on the internet. You can search on the internet. There's a lot of great sites you can look up Cornell Method of note taking. You can maybe see a little bit better than what I posted, but get out there, practice, use it, and don't stop. Don't stop because this will help you, okay? So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.